This next guy cost $1.45 million against the cap. Played offensive line, guard, slash, tackle, Jesse Davis. Uh, I don't care. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> vet man. It's, it's the vet man theory. Sure. Came over from Minnesota, obviously. He's, yeah, um, he's a depth of line yeah, guy for he, us. He was so. the backup. Uh, he backed up. Chooks all year. Obviously, Chooks was healthy, so we never had to worry about him. But remember, for context, Jesse was Leo the guy. Warren says who? Yeah, so context-wise, Jesse Davis, we signed him in the preseason. Um, he was in Miami the majority of his career. Um, guard, right tackle. His best season was that right tackle. But then from there, went to Minnesota, struggled a lot in terms of the preseason up there, and that was ultimately why we were able to acquire him uh, <laughs> during the offseason. That's the scenario with Jesse. Um <laughs> Yeah, These are incredible. he's definitely a deaf guy, though, bro. Yeah. <laughs> See, I feel bad. Like, oh I, that's, my god! At least, at least this the, is, these are definitive no's. Like, that's the funniest part. He like he didn't do anything bad yeah, for us, wrong. but it's because they don't know who he is. Like, oh. but this is also why we make sure that we at least know who we're gonna be telling y'all about. Because I'm sure when we talk these offense linemen to some of these other guys, you're like, bro, who is this guy? I don't know this guy. But that's the context <laughs> on Jesse Davis, and you can remember him. We never had to utilize him because Chooks played well. That was the other part. And uh, Jesse uh, or James Daniels and um, Kevin Dotson both played well and were healthy. Those are the positions that uh, Jesse Davis played. So for me, um, yeah, if it's a vet man situation, cool. Because you keep the consist or you keep the continuity there, but. To me, I, I, I don't have a strong opinion on him one way or the other because of how Ch how Chooks played this year. If Chooks struggled this year, I'm looking at Jesse probably differently. But I think we would have felt differently during the season. Also, we never got to that point, so I never felt like I had to panic. And as long as I don't have to panic, he could just be Chase Daniels essentially. You know, just hey, live behind Chooks for another year. Yeah. And if that's the case, as long as it's cheap, that man, play I'm not tripping on that. Too. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what he brings to the table. And he started in this league before. That's the other thing. Like, I'm big on experience. I'm big on He guys started that a ton of games. This. That's what I'm saying. Like, he has, like, he started to taper off when they moved him back and forth, right uh, guard, tackle, guard and tackle and stuff like that. Definitely a better right tackle than he is guard. But at the same time, he struggled at right tackle towards the end of it down in Miami. That's what you're getting with him. But he's not a starter here. He's a depth guy here. And if that's going to be your depth guy, I would much rather have a highly experienced depth guy. You know, he, he's like our Ryan Davis. You remember when we had Ryan Davis here signing from Denver? Um, this was actually the year after Denver won the Super Bowl. The whole no-fly zone. He was one of our backup swing tackles. I think he started a handful of games when uh, I think Marcus Gilbert might have got hurt. Started a handful of games for us. But he's essentially that version for us. I, I look at Jesse just like that, man. Bring your experience. Be the backup guy. Help us in terms of practice. Because, hey, you're still giving quality looks to our younger guys, our guys on defense. I like him like that. But, yeah, I can only imagine how many who's and what's. And I don't know that guy. Yeah. 